Hi Hans, it's me, Christine Ovs, and in this video, I am talking to you all about beard, bleed through, undertones, color correctors, and how to do this effectively. It's also gonna be done on the brows, as you can see, I've blocked them down, ready to show you the effective way and how to do it effectively. So without further ado, do, let's pull up a photo. This photo, if I hopefully find the correct one, is gonna show you, let me move over, it's gonna show you the color that you're gonna need for your um, undertone. So if you look at mine, I have a blue undertone. It looks blue on uh, camera and to the eye. And if you look at my brows, they look blue, right? It's like a tint of blue in there. So I would use an orange color corrector, which is hopefully reflective in that photo. Let me move back. This, by the way, this is already annoying me. This flappy thing here is, this one's great. This one, not so much. It looked great on the hanger, but it's not very productive. It's just in the way, but let's move on. What you're gonna need for this video is obviously your correct color of color corrector, your one. You're gonna need a beauty blender to bounce. You're gonna need um, some powder. Now, I had high hopes for uh, Rimmel's Perfect Match powder, thinking that there was some um, pigment in there. Do not waste your time. It's an absolute waste of time. I thought it would help kind of like create a skin color. No, translucent is absolutely fine. I use a blender to put it on with, and you're gonna need some foundation and a powder brush. So without further ado, freaking do, how many more so's can I say? Let's begin. To start with, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have completely removed all the hair. Obviously that's step one. I personally use a trimmer down on its lowest setting. Then I'll use an electric shaver with the three heads and I'll go the whole thing. And then I'll wet shave any remaining hairs that need to be gotten. So I've primed, I've primed already. And now I'm gonna start, you see flaps in the way. Now I'm gonna start putting on my correct shade of color corrector. I'm gonna go all along the bottom, along the jaw like, oh, this is so annoying. Is it already on there? It's already on there, fantastico. Um, and then I'm gonna bounce. Oh, that's so annoying. Where did it go? Hold on a second. I thought I had already got a color corrector on there. Where, is that just a shadow? Oh my gosh, it's just a shadow. How funny, I thought I got color corrector on it. Anyhow, so I'm bouncing and I'm making sure I'm cutting underneath the jawline. The most important thing here when you're bouncing is that when you've put this on, you don't want a solid line going up to the rest of your cheek because when you put foundation on, you're gonna see that solid line. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that line is bounced and blended. Just keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You might think, oh my gosh, it's coming up here. Doesn't matter. This line back here, no one wants a tied line. Blend, honey, blend. Action that I do is kind of like pull and up, pull and up. Yes, I'm just bouncing, but I'm also moving the product. So I'm... You may need a couple of layers. I certainly do around this area, around the front of my face, because my hairs are heavier and thicker there. Uh, the most important thing is the blend. Oh, it might be a swell idea if I tell you where I got my color corrector from. How about that? Mine is from Revolution. I seem to have a bit of an obsession with Revolution at the moment. It's not intentional. It's just this particular one was recommended to me by a fellow queen. So I said, okay, I'll trust your words and it's good. So I've accidentally pulled it too far up, but it's not a problem. It isn't. The most important thing is that you don't have a solid line. I couldn't care less if it does the whole face, if I'm honest with you. There's some sparse bits here. There's a sparse bit here. And over here, you can still see the beard. So I'm going to go back with some more and just go over the top of those areas. Really making sure that it's covered. Okay, now that she is as blended as I'm gonna get, I mean, can we just look at my teeth in comparison to this orange? Isn't that just ridiculous? Oh my gosh, no filters being used on this video, honey. Absolutely not. I'm gonna get some powder. Uh, translucent's fine, and what I'm doing, because I like to apply with a beauty blender, I'm just placing her over the top of the entire color correction. And as you can see, by just putting the powder on, the intensity of the orange has kind of, you know, gone down. It's not as intense. 
um, going underneath the chin. I have purposely not done this bit for this video. Um, I would obviously normally take the color corrector down on there as well, making sure that this is blended nicely into the skin. And then obviously the foundation, I would also um, pull down there. But for this video, I wanted you to see what it was a before and after just with foundation just with foundation foundation with color corrector foundation no color corrector that was the what i meant to say right now that is done brush it off brush off the powder honey brush her away and we go about to do the eyebrow okay for the eyebrows i like to put it on the tip of the beauty blender because i like to be a little bit more precise although it's not that big of a deal so i would just bop 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 on my color, my eyebrows and I'm using the butt now so I've turned her over and I'm using the butt of the blender to just make sure she's a bit more smooth and not as intense and blah da, blah da, blah and of course put powder on them as well brush it away and then we're going to start going straight into foundation brush now you should somewhat look like this and you'll be thinking to yourself why am I doing this I mean look at this contrast right why is she asking me to do this just trust the process now we're going to go in for foundation squirt some on my hand and this is where the magic happens so from the hand i'll pick her up on a wet beauty blender and look bounce 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 just bounce her in place and you'll start to see that there's no beard bleed through underneath fabulous making sure again to get underneath that jawbone, especially if you're not going down into the neck, which we will in a mere, this is so annoying, which we will in a mere moment. But for you, when you're doing like a full face and you're doing the whole thing properly, you're gonna wanna get down right under there. Look at that tide line, isn't that awful? <laughs> yeah, lovely. So this shadow is mostly because of my eyebrow bone itself, so I can't really get rid of that as such. But, um. You get the gist, look, woo, disappeared. Lovely, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go under here and I want you to see the difference. Well, at least I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you the difference. So if I just start doing this, can't really talk and bounce at the same time because you know, this is so annoying because you know, like it plays with your voice box. So I'm just gonna have to bounce. Well, that was weird. My lights just went out. It's because of this flappy neck, isn't it? So because some people can be extremely critical, I'm just putting another layer of foundation on over this color corrector uh, because you can still see the orange coming through. I blame the lighting for that because, you know, good lights, but uh, we're making a video, so let's make it proper. <laughs> so I'm just doing another layer look, completely cleared. So yeah, this is three layers of foundation. I mean, you can see how much foundation I've put on. This is disgusting. No amount of foundation will cover your five o'clock shadow, your bleed through of your beard without color correction. It's just the theory of makeup, I'm afraid. You have to color correct if you want to hide your beard. As you can see, that's why I've done it. So that is exactly how you can cancel out the undertone of your beard using the correct color corrector for your undertone now remember i'm using the orange one because i've got a blue undertone go back to the beginning of the video if you don't remember which one was for you have a look at that photo and use it honey bounce it on the face set it with some powder brush off that powder and then slap that foundation on and whilst you're doing that don't forget to pop down there and hit that subscribe button please thank you so much appreciate it <laughs> until the next video ciao for now